Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel and today I'm just sharing with you guys a guide that will teach you how to build the best and most powerful survivors in State of Decay. While indeed it is safe to say that the characters with the powerhouse and nimble abilities are the best to level up as they come complete with additional abilities and bonuses with the powerhouse class increasing your one hit kill chance and the nimble class increasing your stamina regeneration rate. This guide however will teach you how to make every character whether they are a powerhouse, nimble or casual alcoholics a perfect survivor and a valuable asset to your camp regardless of any flaws. More recently, I have been discovering that even characters without the Nimble and Powerhouse ability can be useful, and yes, even characters who are not experts too. Using this guide, you will see that even generally useless survivors such as the Alcoholic, Pack-A-Day, Team Mom and Bum Knee survivors can be made to be nearly flawless. It all comes down to a mixture of things. Firstly, your attachment to that specific character model. Secondly, their weapon specialisation, and finally, the facilities available in your camp. Ok, so allow me to explain. When I play State of Decay, I have a tendency, as you guys may know, to kill off characters who do not have a character model that appeals to me. For example, I will happily kill off cooks, as I do not have a kitchen, and I will happily kill off alcoholics such as Frank Johnson, even though he is a unique character model with a cool shirt. However, I will happily keep the Cowboy Hat Survivor, aka Brendan Erickson from my Last Outlaw series, just because I like his character model, even though he has no actual beneficial abilities such as Powerhouse, Nimble or even Construction. Similarly, the Shark Hoodie Survivor also does not have Nimble or Powerhouse, but does this matter? It really doesn't guys. As it stands guys, even characters who do not have the nimble and powerhouse abilities can be built up to be unstoppable zod killing machines. So if you've been tempted to kill off an alcoholic survivor with a cool name and awesome shirt such as Frank Johnson just for not having a nimble or powerhouse skill or any special abilities whatsoever, then take note of these tips and think again my friends. Here is a step by step guide to building up the best and most powerful characters without needing the powerhouse and nimble skills or any special abilities whatsoever. Firstly, select a character model that you like, because let's face it guys, in a game like this without much character development, we all develop attachments to certain characters based on their looks and make up their own personality as we go along. So that is step one, getting a character model that you want to build up as a flawed survivor. Their so called flaws such as pack a day, alcoholism, bum knee and all those things do not matter at all guys, do not worry, just judge them based on the way they look. Secondly, step 2, give them a weapon of your preference. I believe the best weapon type to be heavy weapons because these are the ones that I use the most. So I always train using heavy weapons. That is step 2. Thirdly, step 3, activate the combat training perk on the dojo. Finally, step 4, take that survivor out and run it into a horde or an infestation and kill everything. In one infestation or one horde, you can easily max out that character's fighting skill. At level 4 fighting, you can also select their weapon specialisation to be heavy weapons, edged weapons, blunt weapons, whatever weapon specialisation you prefer. When you get the chance, set their defensive skills, utility skills and special moves too. However, just by having their weapon specialisation and maxing out their fighting abilities, they are already a near flawless survivor guys, so just keep that in mind, it has nothing to do with nimble, nothing to do with powerhouse, just weapon specialisation, just using them and just being attached to their character model. It really is that simple guys, and after using the aforementioned steps in my own game a number of times, I've made even the generally useless characters some of my best survivors, just to prove a point. So the next time you see a survivor model that catches your eye but you are hesitant to use them as they are not experts, they're not nimble or they're not powerhouses, or they may be smokers, they may be alcoholics, they may have a bum knee, then don't worry, just look at this guide and think again. Simply give them a heavy weapon, activate the combat training perk and run into a horde or an infestation. They will come out that battle one of your best fighters regardless of whether they enjoy their weekend whiskey on a Monday morning or they smoke a pack a day. Seriously guys, learning this has been one of the most fun things in State of Decay for me because it now means that survivor models that look cool, who I normally would have killed off for not having any special abilities such as Nimble or Powerhouse, are now loyal serving and useful members of my camp. Very cool indeed and this includes people like Sue Rose, the Blue Hoodie Girl, the Cowboy Survivor, the Rassel Survivor, the Marshall Survivor and Frank Johnson. 
Come on, Frank Johnson with his cool shirt. Virginia Dahlgren and all those other people with a bum knee, smokers, alcoholics, it doesn't matter. Thanks to following my own tips in this guide, my friends, I've made even some of the most useless survivors perfect survivors, so that's proof enough, guys. I hope it works for you. That's all there is to it, folks, and I hope you find this guide helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more State of Decay guides and content, and good luck to you guys if you try out this method, and I would love to hear similar experiences from you if you do try it, so don't forget to get chatting in the comments below, because I love chatting with you guys. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Wayne well, here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel, thanking you for 8,500 loyal subscribers, and saying goodbye.